Good morning guys. Okay, so not at the house today. Uh, not a lot's happened actually. I think they're we're working on another project at the minute. They're trying to finish another one off. I think everybody comes back Friday, uh, which is tomorrow. So, on a different note, we've, uh, we've planted a load of tomatoes out the back of the, the land. There's a little pond uh, that recedes quite a bit in the winter, which is obviously which it is now. And we've planted tomatoes because the soil's really good for growing stuff. So we're around the land at the back of uh, my girlfriend's mum's house. And we are just getting some bamboo to make some framework for the tomatoes. So I will spin you around and let you see what's happening. Okay, so one's in amongst this pile of chopped down tree type things and she's diving into this area here and casually just turns around and says, oh I think maybe there's snakes in here, but didn't stop her. We've just seen a snake disappearing into there and it was a big snake, no idea what it was, but, but it was quite big. So I'm standing here, just looking about. <laughs> and On's not giving a monkeys, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so this is out the back, and this is the river that comes down and meets the, the Mekong, uh, a couple of hundred yards from our house. And you can see the background here, there's a massive dam, new dam, and uh, they obviously use this for controlling the water for the, the village for drinking and stuff. So what they're doing at the minute is they're actually building a road that's going to come right round this side here and go down past the, the land here. Now I thought this land was, uh, was my girlfriend's family's but it's not, this is a bit government land. There's a, a pin just here beside that post there that goes sort of across. So yeah, they're going to be putting the road round here. This bamboo here, they've actually said if we want to keep the bamboo, they will dig it up with the JCB. This big blue thing across there, whatever it is, it's not a JCB because it's blue. So this is this is big bamboo, and this is ideal. This is exactly what we want for sort of like segregating areas uh, round about the house when we put the the holiday chalets in so we are going to take that we're going to get them to dig it up and they'll all come out in individual like bamboo trees and then we'll just replant them round round at the house so it'd be a shame to see that going away so I'm not going too close to this corner where the snake disappeared in, but I wouldn't mind getting a wee, a wee video of it. The description my girlfriend gave me, it was a, uh, a boa constrictor. Is it boa constrictors you get here or pythons? I can't remember, I think it's pythons you get in Asia. Boa, constrict, boa constrictors are uh, native to America and South America, I believe, so. But anyway, it heard us coming in, it, it legged it into the undergrowth there. Like I say, it's just something a little bit different. Uh, just to let you see the extent of the land they've got here. It goes all the way across here, down to the right down to the river, up to those houses, along up the side of the school there. It's massive, massive area. There's dozens of cornfields here. These are the ones that on sister farms out the back here. So there's one, two, three, four cornfields here. Going to lose half of this one uh, when they build the road round by the dam. So, but yeah, and it's a lovely day. Now, I've never seen that before. And I've no idea if that's anything to do with the dam, but it looks just like a, it looks like a, a, a house, somebody's house to me. It's got air conditioning and everything on it. I think it's somebody's house. And I've never seen it before. And that's partly because this area going from this bamboo right round here, right 
right the way around was basically a tree line and it was it was it was really dense like that sort of area there and you really couldn't see through it so they've opened it all up they've removed all the trees uh, in preparation for building this road round and for strengthening the river bank you will see in the background there they're actually concrete in the river bank and putting uh, boulders in concrete and boulders in and the main area that they'll probably do is this corner here because when they open the dam it'll rush around and hit this corner so it's already washed away parts of uh, one of her auntie's land which she's not too happy about but nothing you can do about it once it's washed away it becomes government land <laughs> so yeah my girlfriend is now ripping bits off of this nice bamboo that we were going to take to the house so i will speak to you in a minute guys cheers for now hi guys Okay, so it is Thursday and the roof's still not finished yet. I don't know if I've explained it, but what happened was they actually, they were one tile short. And I'll spin you around and let you see the offending tile. It's this tile here and it's one of the end cap tiles. And it goes right on that corner there, right in the middle of that scaffolding. Now, the guys have been on another job since uh, Sunday night. <clears throat> so that's why this tile's not been done yet. So I've not been able to put a, a video up of the completed roof. And I don't want to put a video up of the roof if it's not complete because it'll just really annoy me. <laughs> so I'm waiting on this last tile going up. They're coming out tomorrow to do it. They're also coming out tomorrow to do the foundations for the outside Thai kitchen we're having done. The electrician's coming in and he's going to start putting all the conduit work in for the, the electrical uh, sockets and lights and, uh, well, just all the electrical stuff really. So we are going to meet the manager tomorrow at Mega Home, I think it is, in Nakon Phnom, to pick tiles and kitchen stuff, cupboard doors, gas gas hobs, uh, cooker hood, and stuff for the Thai kitchen, uh, the same again, sinks, another gas hob for that obviously, so yeah, I will, uh, I will speak to you shortly guys, cheers for now. Good morning guys, it's just before lunchtime on Saturday the 25th of February, now the electrician's here, and the guys that did all the foundations are back again and they're laying the foundations for our Thai kitchen that's going to be at the side of the house uh, they're actually just driving away as, as I speak at the minute but I'll let you see what they've done uh, the offending tile is still here the guys left last Sunday the tilers and I think they're on another job at the minute they've got this one tile to fit and they've just not been back to do it. So I will spin you around and let you see that as well. I'm gonna stick the drone up. I can't wait any longer to get a drone shot of the roof. Uh, if you don't look too closely, you won't see that there's one tile missing. <laughs> okay, so I'll spin you around guys and let you see what's happening. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, yeah, that's the guys. Just, I think they're just taking some, some rubbish away. So, so there's the offending tile, still sitting there, a week later. Goes on that corner there. So, I'm sure they'll be, I'm sure they'll be very soon to fit it. There's beer waiting for them when they come back. Okay, so, uh, yeah, one of them's up there in a the hammock having a kip. It is lunchtime at the minute. So I will take you a little walk through. So, into the kitchen. Now I went through the layout for the, the electrical system with the guys earlier. So, what they're doing is they're actually starting to, to cut the walls for where the sockets are going. So there's like double sockets going here. There's a single socket going down there for the, well a double one for the, the fridge. Uh, another couple there. And some more across there. They're putting a two-way switch in here. One of them's going up just to the side of the wall there for the lighting. 
and another one as you come through the patio doors because this is going to be the area that we use. So they've, uh, they've cut most of the, the lines in for where they're going to put the, the conduit. Uh, or the electrical cable gets run through yellow conduit as I'm sure you've seen in many videos before this. So I'll just stick us outside a minute. So they had yesterday two massive holes dug here and they put a massive metal framework down there about, I don't know, it must be about three feet by about three feet with this uh, rebar coming up all tied together. They concreted all that in yesterday and then this morning they they filled the posts with concrete. They've now tied it all together with rebar for making a foundation for the wee outside kitchen, wee outside Thai kitchen that we're getting. It's actually not that small. If I'm being honest, it's probably bigger than the kitchen I've got in my house back in Scotland. So yeah, they're cracking on with that. I'm sure that they will get this boarded up and this all concreted at some point today. So I'll take you a little wander through. This is a box of electrical bits and pieces that are going in. Now you can tell these guys are electricians just by looking at the plug that they've got fitted to their drills and all their equipment. Unlike the guys doing everything else, they've just got bits of cable that are, that are twisted together with two pin plugs in them. These guys have actually got proper, proper plugs and everything on it. Which gives me a little bit of hope. <laughs> so I'll take a wee walk up into the living room. So you can see here, this is where I'm going to put my computer and everything, so they're putting four, four way sockets here. Channels all going up, because all the conduit runs along up above the ceiling. Uh, there's an air conditioning unit going here, so they'll be putting that in. <coughs> the fuse board's going here, it's a 12 way fuse board we've got, uh, which includes a, a 65 amp breaker and a, an RCD unit. They don't split their circuits here, they don't have like two sides, an RCD protecting each side. It's just one RCD protects the whole lot and then it, it gets sort of split off. Now I went through with the electrician how I wanted everything done and trying to explain that I wanted uh, a ring main put in for the sockets. I think we got through them, there's some, some dodgy drawings on the wall there when I was trying to explain how we wanted it, how we wanted it done. So there's more, more sockets there. Uh, I think one of them's the light switch and one of them's the air conditioning isolator. And then there's a, a socket down the bottom there. <laughs> All looking at me as if I'm stupid. <laughs> so I'll nip up to the bedroom and they've been, uh, they've been doing the same thing here. Uh, light switch, not light switch, is that light switch? No, the light switch is going here because they can't put it here because the door actually opens this side, so there's a light switch there, ah this is a light switch for the outside light that's going to go uh, above the little outside patio for the bedroom and I've got them putting sockets in, double sockets either side of the bed and a two-way socket across here for if we fit a TV in that on this wall. And in the back bedroom, <coughs> putting the light switch and the air conditioning isolator on the wall here. Uh, a couple of sockets either side of the bed and a double socket down here for again if we're going to fit a telly or anything in this room. The air condition for this room goes up here. So that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to grab some drone footage of the roof uh, and I'll stick this video out. Uh, like I say, I can't wait any longer on the guys coming back to fit this last single tile. We were away yesterday to knock on Phnom to uh, Mega Home. And we picked the tiles and the bathroom uh, accessories like the toilet, the sink, the tiling and that. No, we didn't pick the tiling, sorry, for the bathrooms. We're going back to do that. But we've picked the tiles for the flooring inside and we're just sticking with nice white 
with a little black sort of accent in it for the tiles for the whole house for the floor and outside we've just gone for a a lighter grey non-slip tile with a darker tile for the steps so that'll be for that outside balcony that outside balcony and also the area outside the kitchen that we are not using as the carport so that's it for this week guys I've just got a wee bit of drone footage to do and then I'm going to go around and stick this up on YouTube because I'm sure there's a one or two years out there want to see the progress. It's coming along. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the, the next one, uh, hopefully next week. And I'm assuming that next week there's going to be a lot more progress because all the, all the guys are coming around to start... Uh, doing the ren render on the walls, uh, the brickies are all coming back because they've got little gaps to fill and they've still got walls that they need to double up the brickwork on. But I think they're keeping away just now because the electrician's in cutting all the, the, the channels for his conduit going in. So once again, thank you so much for watching guys. If you haven't done so already, maybe consider subscribing. Give me a wee thumbs up. Uh, it helps, gives me that motivation to keep going with the videos. So I will speak to you shortly, guys. Thank you so much again. Cheers for now.